When I was a little kid, I saw the moon landing, and I wanted to be an astronaut, fly fighter jets. So I uh, learned everything I could learn about how our planes work. I thought I'd be an aerospace engineer, but by the time I was taking my student pilot rides and uh, checking out in different kinds of airplanes, I realized I couldn't afford my taste in aviation. So I put that on the back burner, uh, flew hang gliders instead, flew more radio control models, and figured maybe one day I'd build my own airplane. So my father and I had uh, started a snowboard company. The opportunity space was large. We could make a lot of snowboards. We could make them very inexpensively and they're very high quality. And we needed a way to market that. So we figured we would build an airplane and we'd use that as part of our trade show presence and our transportation solution. But at the time when I decided which airplane to buy and build, I talked to the manufacturer and they actually convinced me to look into designing them a new airplane. I did some research on the internet and I found that what I had missed since I stepped away from uh, design and engineering of aircraft was not much. It was now possible to do a lot of research that was difficult in the past, difficult for me. So now you can read old papers, new papers side by side, and I realized a whole bunch of things as I was doing this. One is you can't do what you want to do because most airplanes have a tail back behind you. It'd be nice to get rid of that. The other thing you'd like to do is have the wingspan of a long airplane, but you want to go fast too, and so they work against each other. So I really wanted to have a short wingspan airplane with the efficiency of a long wingspan airplane, and these things kind of came together when we wrapped the long wingspan into a form that gave me stability and control, plus induced drag reduction. So when the breakthrough happened, I started trying to develop it, maybe to patent the idea, and to see, you know, what place it would have in aviation. This concept is so unbelievably advanced, it's very hard to wrap your head around it. To see John do it, it's, you know, John's a snowboarder, he's an excellent snowboarder, but this guy carves turns through the discipline of fluid dynamics like he's snowboarding. So he can explain those principles to us. And finally, I'm getting my head wrapped around it. Design is a really long process. You start with a concept, you do a bunch of numbers and simple analysis, then you do a bunch of sketch work, uh, then you bring it into programs that do more detailed analysis, and then you actually start the process of modeling. It takes thousands of hours, and you get into the process of detailed design, and that takes tens of thousands of hours, sometimes hundreds of thousands of hours, because everything gets designed, from the smallest bolt and nut to the biggest flight control system. And each one of those things is worked on at the same time by a large number of people, and so that's why it does take a long time to develop things that have a lot of parts. After I had this breakthrough, I also came to learn that we have about 20,000 airports all languishing from the fact that nobody wants to use the little airplanes that are parked out there. If your car got the kind of gas mileage that an airplane does, a small airplane, you'd never drive it. You couldn't afford to. And that's the problem. Small airplanes, no one can afford to own them and no one can afford to fly them. If you could solve this cost per seat mile problem, you'd have a trillion dollar market on your hands. Synergy delivers economics far better than it takes to open a trillion dollar market. So what are we going to do? We don't have any infrastructure for that. Millions of people want a product that doesn't exist. Millions of companies need a product that doesn't exist. The real challenge is to build the company that can deliver that product. And we know we can do it. We set out to do it and we've got the only game plan that maps it safely into existence. What we need at this stage is that interim financial partner with a vision to match ours, to understand that this is the path forward.